Now, with the risk of COVID exposure at the polls more of a realistic possibility, some people are looking for ways to make it easier to vote by mail. One idea out there that hasn't been approved by the legislature yet would be to automatically send ballots to every registered voter. That's an idea that our poll found most Minnesotans support. Question, should we allow every registered voter to automatically receive a ballot in Minnesota? The DFL-controlled Minnesota House likes the idea, as does the Secretary of State, Steve Simon. And Minnesotans know this is a, a common sense way to do things, especially at a time of a pandemic. But the GOP-controlled state Senate doesn't support that option. Senator Mary Kiffmeyer, former Secretary of State. Minnesota have 46 days, 46 days to cast their ballots, whether in person or through the mail. But the CARE NPR Star Tribune poll found 59% of Minnesotans agree with the idea of automatically sending ballots. Support was strongest in Hennepin and Ramsey County, less in other metro counties, lower in southern Minnesota and northern Minnesota, but still over 50% in all regions. At a time of a pandemic, people know that we need to treat these upcoming elections as a public health issue. And that means making it as easy as possible for people to vote from home. People want to do that. Local elections officials are already gearing up for an influx of mail-in ballots, especially after Wisconsin's primary. We don't want them to do mail-in ballots because it's going to lead to total election fraud. So we don't want them to do mail-in ballots. Probably no surprise, President Trump's likely voters are overwhelmingly against the idea, while former Vice President Biden's supporters favor it. In the Minnesota poll, it got support of 97% of DFLers, only 23% of Republicans, and 49% of independents. There's also a gender split in the poll. 49% of men like the idea, but 67% of women are on board. Now, some of those we surveyed echoed the president's approach. I'm afraid of the people stealing ballots out of other people's mailboxes, people voting for other people. But the Secretary of State pointed out a mail-in ballot can't be counted unless it matches your license number or other unique ID. There has to be a match there, so no one could successfully steal ballots from someone's mailbox and vote that ballot. They just couldn't do it. Now, the uh, Secretary of State pointed out that in Minnesota, there are already about 130,000 voters every election who automatically are sent ballots because they live in areas where the local city and county has basically decided to do it that way because they can't find enough poll workers. And finding poll workers is going to be an issue as we move forward through the summer looking at elections. Back to you.